All right, everyone. How are you guys? A long time no see, right? Uh, I hope you are always healthy, yeah. Because today my condition is not good. Because two days ago I just sick. I got some flu, so I just uh, recover from the flu. Uh, in the previous video, I just make this, this, and this. And today in the fourth video. Uh, I'm going to talk um, talking about uh, my hometown. As you can see behind me, I'm in Banyatego village. Uh, there are a lot of trees in the bottom. There, there's a uh, uh, rice fields and the river near rice field. So, because in this pandemic situation, we can't make the video outside. So, let's make the video it inside. <coughs> Alright guys, uh, I'm in inside now, just now I want to tell you about my hometown. Actually, Banjar and Banjar are uh, village is uh, similar because they are in Banjar sub-district area. Uh, my grandmother is from Banjar and my grandfather is from Banjar Tegu. So, we, we live in Banjar and Banjar Tegu. Uh, then, there is a lot of history happened to our village and I will tell you about it. Banjar village is classified as an old village, but it is not classified as Baleaga village. The Banjar village are stretched from the seahorse to the highland from north to south. Therefore, the village of Banjar seems to, to be divided into two regions, some of which are the lowlands and some in the highlands so they are close to the sea and the mountains although the Banyar village is an old village there are no inscription nor are they are no clues as to when the village uh, was built or established there is only one clue which is not necessarily the case but is assumed to be true which is uh, started in the chronicle Tahu Taru Pinghe, then I talk about the history of Banyar Tega village. Long time ago, when the Swajapura Galgal Kingdom Klungkung was ordered by Ida Dalam, he appointed Dang Yang Wirage Sandi as Purorita or spiritual advisor. Uh, Dang Yang Wirage Sandi is a pandita who is very well versed in the teaching of, of Hinduism. So that the kingdom of Swajapura experiences is uh, a golden, peaceful, and pro prosperous area. Uh, that that is how the kingdom of, of Swajapura is great, thanks to the leadership that can harmonize both physical and mental uh, mental interest. Because uh, for a long time. Uh, he or Dang Yang Wiragesandi live in Galgal Castle or Swajapura. Then, uh, with with the permission of the king, he depart on foot, accompanied by his five sons, who have become pandita. The name is the first one is Ida Penada Sakti Bukian, the second one is Ida Penada Sakti Murah Pemade, the third one is Ida Penada Sakti Kemenu. Num number four is Ida Penada Sakti Bukit, and the last one is Ida Penada Sakti Ketandan. From Klungkung, he walks toward the northwest in a village called Tarupingi, or now we call Kayu Putih, uh, in the territory of Raja Kibaya, di Kibarak Panji Sakti uh, on Buleleng. Uh, he was in intercepted by Pasak Goblet residents. Uh, he was expected to refrain from returning to Java and are requested uh, to be willing to stay in uh, stay there after receiving the blessing of Kibara Panji Sakti as the ruler of the Buleleng region. The, the Dangyang Wiraga Sandi was made pasraman in Samo uh, and was given a power as Panita by Kibarak Panji Sakti with a boundary from Kalibukbuk to Gilimanuk. Thus, he was with intelligent 
and winsome can create condition that are stable in region and state. Uh, I don't know uh, how long he lived in Kayubuti. On one time, his son, number two named Ida Penanda, uh, Sakti Nguratmada, went to talk about being accompanied by his student to the north of Tarupingi. Arriving at the plateau, uh, he was astonished when he saw that down there was a place full of reeds to the edge of the sea. Even more strange in the middle of the reeds, thin smoke billowing endlessly. So that from his admiration, a desire uh, arise to come to that place. Uh, he and his companions immediately walked to the place. Once there, the smoke was discovered billowing out of the ground and guarded by two wolves and with black and white fur. Through, through the immediate leaf power of his lord, then the two wolves guarding the smoke were willing to go, as if to allow him to approach that place. Again, uh, growing amazed because of not knowing the name of the place, he wanted to give a name uh, after the ponder and remember the situation of the place. Finally, he was given the name Janggala Kuse. Janggala, that's mean place, and Kuse, uh, that's mean reeds. In the Balinese language, it's called Banjar Amangan. After getting permission from his father, uh, finally, Ida Penade Sakti Ngurakumade lived uh, or built pasraman in Janggala Kusa uh, along with with his escort uh, because of his fame. Over time, many people uh, who come to Janggala, Janggala Kusa asked to be his student. More and more people come and immediately cut down the, uh, the red forest then build camps uh, neatly lined up uh, from north to south which is Bali is called Mabanjaran because of that finally the name Janggalaku Sasang changed the name to the Banjar village uh, the other story is uh, in 1868 the village of Banjar re-emerged after the Dutch controlled Buleleng with the politics of Tawan Karang at, at that time Igusti Gunar Jelante was promoted by, uh, to region by the company or the Dutch uh, Banjar district which which is held by retained Ida Maderai totally disagreed therefore Ida Maderai as a retainer of the Banjar district rebelled against the power of the company the Netherlands did not remain uh, silent with the help of Gusti Ketut Jelante uh, region Buleleng Banjar district in all out uproar uh, on September 16, 1868, there was a fierce battle in the Banyar Chorot in Chempaga village. Dutch soldiers, led by Louis Stegman and Lieutenant Nies, uh, while the assistance of Gusti Ketut Jelante was led by his, pa- his party uh, named Ketut Liarte. Banyar is led by Ida Madirai with his sister Ida Nyoman Murah. Luck, luck is on a uh, Banyar side. The duck, the Dutch lost. Captain Luik Stegman and Lieutenant Nis were killed, uh, followed by a, approx, approximately 10, 10 Dutch soldiers. Before the Dutch invaded Banjar, Ida Madurai was appointed by name the people of Banjar to become a uh, receipt in the Banjar supported by Raja Bangli and neighbor, neighboring villages such as Kalyanga, Tangwisya, Patamon, and Kayaputi. Uh, in the first invasion was from uh, the east or, or from the city of Singaraja. Uh, then the second time Banjar was invaded from the west or from Pengastulan by the Dutch uh, assisted by Wayan Tragi. On October 3, 1868, there, there was also a very strong resistance by the people of Banya from the Netherlands. It could be repelled back, and that's when the Banyar uh, changed 
its name to Sura Magada. Uh, that means Sura is brave, Magada is fighting. Because of the failure of the Dutch for the second time, the company finally asked for the help from the governor general in Batavia. With with the help of governor general Batavia, the Balinese soldier uh, again stormed the village uh, of Banjar under the leadership of Colonel De De Braban and Major Bloom. The invasion began from the east through Temukus and then Cari village directly to the Banjar village on one by one Banjar was killed and finally Banjar village was destroyed uh, and Idemarai was arrested in the Jatilwe Tabanan along with five of his followers and tried in Batavia and served a life sentence sent to Bandung and finally he died there. After the Dutch were destroyed or defeated, the Dutch imposed forced lab- labor on the village villagers who were still uh, alive to make a grave at the site of the dead. Uh, on Captain Louis Stegman and Lieutenant Nis and his soldier in Banjar Chorot, Cempaka village. The Dutch grave uh, is proof of the heroism of Idemadirai who led the people of Banjar. Uh, while the name of the village of Banjar, which was one named Desa Suramagada, was automatically unknown and returned to the name of the village of Banjar now. Yes, right, that's a Banjar history. Then we move to the history of Banjar Tiga. Banjar Tiga village was one part of Banjar village area, which is located in the eastern part of Banjar village, as well as being the highest place compared to other areas in the eastern part of the village of Banjar. There are three helmets, namely, Uh, the first one is Dusun Tangap, the second one is Dusun Tengah, and the third one is Dusun Abian. This area is bounded by a river that runs from the south from to north. The the three different hamlets on the east side, Banyar Tiga village has farming activities in the garden and the, in the rice fields which, which are located in the east of Banyar village. In farming life, uh, These three hamlets have a water irrigation system called Suba. The irrigation pattern in this area is same as other Suba irrigation system in Bali. Like other Suba in Bali, this area also has Suba temple which is located in the village temple now. Uh, in the history of Banyartega village, Banyartega village is said to have started with an agreement of community leaders from the three Hamlets with the exciting hamlet in Banyar Tiga that that if these three hamlet were able to drain war into the area and establish a village temple, they would build a new village again in this place, but still part of the Banyar village area. Uh, in honor of the leaders in Banyar Tiga village, because the location. Of his region is highest compared in other to other areas. In in the village uh, of Banyar Tegu, the name Tegu or the uh, meaning is high. To honor the village of Banyar Tegu village, the name of Banyar Tegu village was taken to give the name of the new area. So the, that name is Desa Banyar Tegu was agreed upon as previously agreed. A, a village temple was. Established, which was one one part of Kayangan Tiga in the concept Hindu religion, and uh, is a minimum requirement form in a village in a Bali. So this embryo of the Banyar Tiga village temple is Suba uh, Suba temple. That's one excited uh, in this area. In its development of Suba Suba temple is equate. Equipped with pelinge, which can fulfill the requirement of a village temple. In accordance with the village situation, that since 1965, the village uh, of Banjar uh, Banjar Tegehe has officially uh, become government village. And then throughout history, the leadership of Banjar Tegehe 
uh, has experienced many struggle and change to build uh, the Banjar Tiga village from before independence arrived in, until Indonesia's independence. In terms of development, the welfare of the people of Banjar Tiga village has experienced extraordinary improvement compared in the field of health, education, government ad administration, uh, government service of community, religion and culture, social health development so that government orders has become more advantage compared to the previous government. Alright, that's some history about the Banjar and Banjar Tiga village. Uh, in each village, there are several places that become tourist destination. In Banjar Tiga, we have uh, Vihara Brahma Brahma, and in Banjar, we have Banjar Hot Springs. Firstly, I'm going to talk about Banjar uh, Brahma Vihara Arama. Brahma Vihara Arama, or Buddhist monastery, is the perfect place for a senior Sereni Buddhist monastery in Bali. Buddhist Monastery Bali located at Banjar Tiga Village, Banjar Sub-District, uh, Buleleng Regency, and perched on the slope of a hill, uh, Brahma Vihara Arama, uh, and uh, raised majestic, majestically uh, overlooking a sea with less green hill as a background. It is located uh, 1.5 km to east from Banjar Hot Spring. Brahma Vihara Arama is a Buddhist temple that uh, was built in the late of 20th century Christian exactly in 1960 and after 1970 it was opened uh, formally in 19th century as actually the Buddhist has been built before located in Banyatege around the, the hot spring area of Banyat village but at that uh, time only the few of people adherents were getting uh, more increasing than Brahma Vihara Arama was finally built uh, on such area of land the area has been expanded in order to be able to build Borobudur miniature that is located on the southern part of Brahma Vihara Arama that has been built and opened Brahma Vihara Arama consists of three words Brahma, Vihara and Arama Brahma means praise or glory, Vihara means the way of life, and Arama means place. From the combination of the words, uh, it can be concluded that meanings of Brahma Vihara Arama is a place of self-training, forgiving, the noble, of laud laudable behavior, which is the Buddhist included Metta, Karuna, Murita, and Upekha. Uh, principally, uh, there are five a complex of building. The first one is Upastagara, is located on the top of the hill on the west. It is a comfortable and quiet place. On the wall, there is a relief of Buddha's birth, and in the center, there is a Buddhist statue in the condition reaching the heaven. In the religious and ritual activity, uh, this space is functions as a stable stabilizing a candidate of monk a setting stage to fun functions as stabilize the candidate of monk uh, setting stage to follow the next training it was space that the monk said their oath the second one is Dharma Stale uh, is located on the ace Dharma Stale look uh, room is a kind of room for giving lecture this room is also place for giving preach and other spiritual activities. The third one is stupa. Stupa is a giant bell like a building located uh, at the corner of the northwest. It its wall are made for concrete, carved or reliefs that are very interesting. Uh, in stupa, there are many scared uh, Buddhist things kept, such as break and fireproof things. The fourth is body tree. Uh, at the northwest uh, corner, there is a big body that is decorated with relief. This place is victory of Buddha when reaching eternal perfection. In this place, visitors usually do meditation, especially on Asuda and Waisa holidays. Uh, the last one is Kuti. At Vihara complex, there are rooms called Kuti. 
these rooms are the homestay for monks and students who are studying and place for monk exercise. If we hang around all corners of the room and park, we can find many Buddhist statues. Among there are two beautiful ones. The first one is Pari, Pariniwara uh, and Buddha statue. But uh, both are made from bronze coated with gold gifts from Thailand and Sri Lanka. In 1977, the statue are placed in different room. Buddhist Pari Nirvana uh, statues visualize Buddha reaching heaven or Hinduist uh, term moksha or eternity. Then other biggest Buddhist statues at the park is Brahma Vihara Arama are about 31 statues. They are made for sandstone or concrete showing the symbol of that there are 31 stages of nature outside heaven. And then right uh, and an, uh, another tourist destination that I gonna talk is Banjar Hot Spring. Banjar Hot Spring is the one hop the hot spring of many tourist objects in Bali, in the Banjar district or in the Banjar village, Buleleng Regency, which can be visited by you and the other tourists. Uh, this hot water is sourced from natural springs, which are considered by many to be able to cure various skin diseases such as cabbage, water fleas, and ringworm. Likewise, that his hot water can be used to cure skin disease because of its silver content. The, center, uh, the centuries old hot springs have been upgraded with modern facilities over time and have become a favorite retreat uh, and recreation site among locals and international visitors. Uh, at the spring sites, uh, in intent, uh, a ticket uh, office at Gentens uh, to a parking space, uh, cars and coach stop here uh, while motorcycles are permitted, further access along the road uh, of shop to the small parking space next to a uh, roofed stone gate with a signate that reads hot water bathing place. The sovereign shops that line that road bef uh, before the stone uh, Grapes sell various items such as from the frame art, handicrafts, souvenirs, bintang shirts to batik and diet clothes. The short pathway and the bridge after the gate are the base small river, leading you to a further flight of steps. From here, the first smaller pool can easily be seen, where spot gush into a visitor enjoying the shooting splash further up the step is a shop uh, selling snack or uh, ref refreshment and then the hot water spring complex uh, complex for main pool section uh, which the largest and the central bathing pool uh, featuring a restaurant perch high above the northern side and then beside the restaurant a restroom locker changing rooms and a spa massage facility uh, the bathroom full are constructed around the hot water uh, spring source and feature a terrace stu structure the first level features eight dragon spout with a smaller pool also adjoining the section and then the larger side of the central bathing pool enable family to join in on the suit, uh, suiting deep and then down on the second level is the main central pool. Uh, the hot water spring provides a recreational and therapeutic experience due to the weather sulfuric content. This can be seen from the yellow yellowish red sentimentation at the several points and then of the spot and the pool walls. The complex is known to have a been further developing during the Japanese occupation of Indonesia uh, during World War II and then at the time uh, the waters of the hot spring were known by uh, to have a cure various skin problems as well as rheumatic uh, elements and Banyar Hot Spring continue to provide an enjoyable uh, health uh, benefiting retreat up and the hills on the north for the seeking relaxation fun sightseeing and totally different experience. Those not willing to go uh, 
uh, for a swim can easily for enjoy the luz of tropical gardens or the view from above of the Komala Tirta restaurant or shopping for the souvenir that rose of the art shop just outside. Alright, so I have already told you about my village which start from uh, the village of Wanyar, village of Wanyar, the, the history of the two villages and also the tourism object in the both villages. Uh, I think that's all for today. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy and goodbye.